hey guys uh, so today we are going to talk about Jenkins and this video is going to be a little introduction to Jenkins uh, although Jenkins is uh, not a very complex tool but it has a lot of features a lot of things that one can talk about and work on it gives you a lot of functionality in actual so it's a continuous integration tool and we are going to present this uh, presentation for the same now what is Jenkins so Jenkins is an open source continuous integration tool which is written in Java and it provides continuous integration services for software development it is a server based system running in a servlet container such as Apache Tomcat and is also an award winning application that monitors executions of repeated jobs the continuous integration systems are vital part of any agile team because they help enforce the ideals of agile development. Jenkins, a continuous building tool, enables teams to focus on their work by automating the build, artifact management and deployment process. The core functionality and flexibility of Jenkins allows it to fit in variety of environments and can help streamline the development process for all the stakeholders that are involved. Continuous integration. Now we talked about Jenkins being a continuous integration tool, but do we really know what it means? Now continuous integration by definition is a software development practice where members of a team integrate their work frequently. Usually each person integrates at least daily and so on. Each integration is verified by an automated build to detect integration errors as quickly as possible. This is the definition that was given by Martin Fowler. So what in actual is happening is that at regular frequencies, ideally at every commit, the system is integrated, built, tested and deployed. The exact declaration and Definition of these four terms, integration, built, tested, and deployed has been given in the presentation. Now, why do we use Jenkins? There are multiple tools available in the market, and they are good as well. But Jenkins is an open source tool built up on Java. So what happens while we are working with Jenkins and how it fit into our environment is that the developer makes changes to his project or his code on his personal workstation, checks in the code to the repository, which is a central point where his entire team might be checking in their code changes. It can be on the git, stash, or there are other more source control tools. Now, Jenkins has a job built already that is used to grab the code, to build the artifacts like exe or the application that has to be done, and then it runs the test and publishes the outputs to the live server and sends out the result which is a running application or a running exe. Now continuous integration has a lot of benefits. It has immediate bug detection. It does not have any integration step in the life cycle. It is a deployable system at any you know, given point in time and it records the evolution of the project. Now continuous integration is a long process and it involves a lot of tools to be, uh, to be used. So it requires code repositories uh, for which you know most commonly used one is git but there are few more like SVN, Mercurial and a couple of more. Then there are continuous build systems about which one of them is Jenkins. There is Bamboo, there is Cruise, uh, Although, you know, Jenkins and Bamboo are uh, quite uh, famous ones. Uh, control test frameworks like JUnit, Cucumber, CPP unit. And then there are artifact repositories like Nexus, Artifactory and Archiva. So, you know, continuous integration is a very, very good way of uh, development that agile teams usually follow uh, using these processes, tools and uh, it has its own benefits too. So now setting up a Jenkins job or a project, you know, you have uh, the general options as associating it with a version control server. You can trigger the builds by polling periodic checks or building based on any other projects. 
you can execute the shell scripts bash scripts and ta and targets and maven targets too artifact archival involves publishing of junit test results and java docs also then uh, jenkins is capable of sending email notifications too and as stated earlier you know the plugins expand the functionality even further so there are n number of uh, plugins available in the market at that at this point in time that can gel with jenkins and uh, give you the kind of facility you are looking for now going ahead Uh, by example you know jenkins page the main page on the jenkins looks like this so i have uh, cleared out the job names and all because uh, you know it's not uh, a good practice to show up uh, stuff uh, so the main page provides a summary of the project like you can see it provides a quick view of what is building at this point in time there are no builds in the queue that you can see on the left side and the build executor status at this time is idle because there are no builds you know that are happening at this point moving ahead you can actually create a new project and when you create a new project this is uh, something what uh, it looks like you can give it a name or description they give you some options like you know what is the source of the code uh, you can give the git uh, path for this uh, give your access for this um you know it asks for the build triggers whether you want it periodically or you know it has to be done next to any other project or it has to do polling and in build steps you can add sss servers uh, you can ask it to pull uh, from some particular uh, docker registry or you know you can have other options in post build actions also like email notifications publishing of junit test results or java docs and you know or you know just uh, forwarding it to any other project that will go ahead so that's something you know uh, i'll be picking up in my next lecture on uh, jenkins where i'll be building a job and showing you guys you know how a simple job you can get started with builds uh, although it is not a very complicated procedure it's plain english and this is a very good tool but uh yes uh, once you have an idea about how the new project is working generically you can build uh, many more complex projects so jenkins uh running jenkins for yourself is you know it's packaged as a war so you can drop it to whichever servlet container you prefer to use it comes with prepackaged servlet if you just want a lightweight implementation now it has native or supported packages that are existing for various operating systems including windows ubuntu debian red hat fedora centos mac open source free bsd solaris open indiana etc the conclusion that uh, we are going to draw from this introduction is that continuous integration is a necessity on complex projects due to the benefits it provides regarding early detection of problems it's a good continuous build system that should be flexible enough to fit in pre-existing development environments and provide all the features a team expects from a such a system now jenkins a continuous build system can be an integral part of any continuous integration system due to its core features set and extensibility through a plugin system so uh, this was about it uh, in the introduction of jenkins which you know we covered broad topics like what jenkins is and what continuous integration is and you know how a uh, main page or uh, how a jenkins job looks like when you are uh, creating a new one so uh, for more details you can contact us and we had a very good information this time because i have been getting a lot of emails and a lot of things from a lot of people asking me questions on various scenarios and uh, so it was becoming becoming a little hectic so now techy magnet is a small collaborative team with some awesome engineers in it so you can actually reach out to us uh, with uh, some scenarios or some consultation requirements and things like that we take up small projects and consultations now and we have some great storage backup unix experts at this time to help you with the new projects and small deployments or doubts although we do not have some superb devops guys yet and uh, we'll be heading uh, to get them on board 
uh, I personally have been working on a lot of DevOps and automation stuff. So yes, you have somebody out there who can talk about things and who can give you elaborative answers on your queries. For queries for any projects, for consultations, you can email us at techgirl23591 at gmail.com. And we also have a Facebook page which you can like. You can reach out to me or connect to me or my team through this page as well. Thank you for listening through. Uh, thank you for so much uh, support that I've got uh, through this YouTube channel. And uh, I'll be happy to help uh, as much as I know. And if I would not know things, I will try to find it out for you. So guys, uh, thank you for listening through. And just remember, we are now available to take up small projects and consultations as well.